Hey YouTube, I'm Ross Ross Magas. This is Not Real Life and we are back again with another Monster Hunter weapon overview, analysis, and breakdown of the wonderful little trailers Capcom has been delivering to us. Uh, today I'm going over the hammer and right off the bat, this actually, I believe I did the charge blade video before this one, but um, this this also gives me hope. Both that video showed this and this video shows us that they're showing us some pretty wild outfits this time. You know? So look at this one. Like, it's got the crazy, like, uh, plague doctor going on. This one's a nurse with, like, you know, like a hairnet. Keep all the hair in there. You know, keep yourself, you know, a sterile environment while you bludgeon a monster to death. But... I love the purple. This is clearly an uh, indicator of one of the new monsters, just the same way with the charge blade. And um, I haven't uploaded a video on this yet, but we had the longsword had a really cool costume, but I'm not sure if that's the Doshaguma costume or not. It's hard to say. The fur on the back makes me think so, but either way, I'm hoping this indicates to us that this means that they realize that, you know what, even though the game is grounded and more realistic than like say rise where they're like jumping all over the place that kind of stuff it's like it's okay to have all these cool wild out there costumes and outfits and like you know different weapon styles that just look like wild and you can't see it here but like well, let me pull it back uh when they show it in the game like yeah there you go here we go freaking like brain and like wires going on like frankenstein plague doctor Thing. This is definitely going to be a poison weapon. Look at these. Like, I actually never noticed these details. Now I'm thinking about it. Oh, wait. There's another one right here. Is that a heart? Or is it a brain, too? Maybe we can see it in a different angle. Mm, it's hard to say. I love that you can see the potion. And, like, look. You can see, like... It's kind of like x-ray. You can see the finger bones. That's really cool. At first, when I saw this costume, it actually made me think of Kezu. And I know Kezu doesn't look like this. It doesn't have this costume. But not Kezu. And I can't remember what the name of it is. I've never fought that monster yet uh, in the older games. But it looks like Kezu. It's got like the big cobra flaps. And it shoots the eggs at you. Um, someone in the comments, please let me know what that thing's called. I know it's not this because I looked it up. But um, this made me think of that. And... Hmm, you actually, you know what, now that I'm looking at this here, I completely got distracted. These dots kind of make a little face. Little eyeball. Little eyebrows. <laughs> Maybe that's what the monster's face looks like. Either way, this is hella cool, and I am super excited for it. But let's start the trailer over, and we'll take a look. Maybe we can catch a glimpse of the second heart brain. I love all these tubes, too. Okay. This weapon is... I've dabbled in this one, but this is definitely, like, my brother loves this weapon. This is his main. He plays all the time. He's crazy with it. A blunt weapon, destructive power, and good mobility. This thing, I didn't know if this is in Rise or not, but, like, that's the first thing that stood out to me. The ability to just kind of, like, whip yourself about. Would you? <laughs> He's a little frog jump. Okay, a regular, I think that's a level 3 charge slam without having the extra charge on there. Like that one. Charge your attacks to make it stronger. This is a big bang attack. Circle, circle, circle. Hmm. Maybe this move doesn't have a lot of hits done. Tadakabra's tongue thing. Because she doesn't move at all. So maybe just take the damage because that's not a strong attack. But unless they added armor to this move, but they didn't flash at all. Let's watch it a little slower. Okay, yeah, the tongue just kind of goes. <laughs> Bonk. Hmm, maybe that move just doesn't, just doesn't knock you back. Or maybe this set has the knockback prevention skill. What's it called? Brace? Hmm. Either way. Okay. Getting a lot of stuns with this weapon. And we go into a big spinning finish. I still can't see it. Hmm. 
Hmm. That, that was the focus mode move, but it reminds me of when you're doing a spinning charge and you activate the move, but it's clearly not exactly that. Spin. No, because it, it, it ends with the top. The other one ends with a golf swing. Like, yeah, that move. Hmm. I wonder if this was just cut and they didn't show us that it was a thing, or you can just activate the golf swing. Maybe it was just cut really well. <laughs> I love this move. It looks really cool. And I'm not sure, because I haven't played some of the wilder ones with the really crazy skills, but like this reminds me of Spinning Meteor, which I saw in Hunter Stories, Monster Hunter Stories 2. And does massive part damage in that game. I hope we can expect the same here and get lots of KOs. Spin, spin, spin. Ooh. Hmm. There's not a lot of aerial hammer or aerial anything in actually a lot of these footage, so me I guess they're just not highlighting because I don't think they would remove those features. Some of those are really crazy, like when you see like some hammer players go and then like near a ledge it just goes nuts. Um I was hoping to see the spinning thing from the slide. I forget what it's called, but I mean, it might be called spinning bludgeon. But when you slide down a hill and then you go to the spinning attack, it's really cool. Focus mode. No, I still can't see it. Let's try to see if I could make out what was in there. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. Hmm. This, this part here, I can't tell if this is one of those like perfectly timed attack because they flash white. Or is that just the attack stun? Because the character is not flashing white. Hmm. I wonder if this is a parry or if this is just one of those well-timed things. Like, you've probably seen that meme video where, like, someone's fighting, like, a giant Tigrex. Tigrex? Tigrex. Uh, and, like, they are in the arena. And they, like, you know, like, you can insert your own argument here. And it's like, whatever you say, and then you say this. And then, like, the person just does a perfectly timed, like, spinning into, like, this last... I just call it the golf swing. I can't remember what it's actually called. Is this move right here and like just perfectly times it so like T tigrex is just coming in bam smashes him and like just flails back ko it's epic looking they played in slow motion um but i wonder if it's parry or not either way or maybe they saw that video themselves and they're like let, reminding us like hey we saw it too and we thought it was cool so we timed it as well another thing i noticed is they never show let me double check. Um, normally when you're playing hammer, you can charge the weapon by pressing R2, right? And then there's like, you can press, I believe it's circle on PlayStation. And they kind of like hold it and they like, you can see them like kind of focus themselves again before they hold the weapon like they're charging it. And it gives it like the level two for the charges, for all the charges. And then you get stronger attacks. And you also don't get as much knockback from small things and other players. But that's not shown here at all. Maybe they're just not showing it because it's like, you know, it's there. But it's not one of the things we want to highlight, like the little grappling hook. <laughs> this little body slam. Oh, he's getting ready to pound. Yo! <laughs> it just lands on his face. Hmm. I'm hoping that this one will be really strong for KO attacks too. Because it's really, it is, honestly, it is very satisfying when you like smack them and they just knock over and you see a little star spinning all over the place. But either way, Hammer looks awesome. The costume looks amazing. And I'm hoping that there's going to be lots of cool costumes just like this. Like, you know, they're all kind of weird or like out there not all of them are grounded in like the cool aesthetic of the world which is cool but i also want to see some of the really classic weird ones return like we've seen some of the regular ones like ingot armor high metal um those guys and we're starting to see some other guys that are like you know these are it's like we have the the classics 
But we got some new bangers for you here in these outfits and stuff, so. Either way, let me know in the comments. Are we going to get really wild weapons like this all over the place? Or are we going to get some of them, like a, a good mixture? Or are you worried that it's not going to be that at all? And these are just like one-offs. But I'm Ross Ross Magas. This is not real life. This has been an overview of the hammer. And I'll see you guys in the next one.